of black guys that date white girls. Of course I let her say the N-word when we're at home. I don't have anything to say. I don't have anything to add. I don't have a critique. I just know this video is going to get deleted and it needs to live somewhere. What's up, you guys, and welcome back again on another episode. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for tuning in if you are joining for the very first time. I'm sure if you've been on Instagram or on TikTok, you might have come across this type of trend. I'm a black girl from the suburbs. Of course I'm bougie at all. Bougie and get old. I'm a black girl from the suburbs. Of course I know how to code switch. I'm a black girl from the suburbs. Of course I'm gonna rock out to Molly Cyrus's party in the USA and still back that thing up for the 99 in the 2000. <laughs> If you have seen this trend or if you haven't, I'm sure you're going to understand from that clip. The black men who date white women or let's just say black men dating white women, they decided to hop on this particular trend. And what they have to say in that trend has been going viral. Some people said it's a joke, but some people believe that in every joke, there can be some higher type of truth in it as well, because yeah, we all know how these things work. And we know the conversation surrounding black men dating white women. This went viral quickly and people have been duetting and stitching to their video. So without wasting much time, let's just get right into it and as well see what the people are saying about their video. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course her father calls me boy. <laughs> We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I lost everything in the divorce. Fuck! We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I'm a D1 athlete. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I let her say the N-word when we're at home. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I refer to it as the N-word. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I need someone to obey me. We're black guys who date white girls. I've been to Bonnaroo at least a dozen times. We're black guys who date white girls. My breath, no matter what, stinks. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course I got fired as Kang the Conqueror in the MCU. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course she tells her friends it's big. We're black guys who date white girls. I've been called everything from sellout to Uncle Ruckus to Coon. But what I've never been called is attractive. <laughs> We're black guys who date white girls. As a brother in an interracial marriage, I'm going to tell you this, young man. We're going to need you to retract that convertible forehead of yours. You're on the freeway driving 75 miles an hour, and it's awfully windy if you catch my drift. And number two, stop fetishizing white women. I'm married to one. They're overrated, and it's not that fucking serious. Number three, if you're in a relationship with an adult woman, and you refer to her as a girl, and girl by definition alone means child and or adolescent, I'm looking at you sort of weird. Where the fuck is your mind? Last but not least, no one gives a flying fuck that you're with a white woman. Okay? We don't care. And this is coming from a brother in an interracial marriage. Red octagon is bullshit. It's goofy and corny. Alright? Enjoy the rest of your day. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course her father calls me boy. You're a black guy who dates white girls. Of course your hairline is receding. Who gives a fuck? Oh, and of course when she gets angry, she'll play victim and have you locked the fuck up. Calls me boy. <laughs> We're black guys. As a guy who used to be in an interest relationship, this ain't it. This is definitely not it. Why? Would you think that was a good idea to post this? What was in y'all mindset when y'all do these trends and then y'all do it with a white girl and then y'all get called out and then now y'all want to play victim? Like, really? This is why interracial relationships don't work because y'all do stuff like this on the internet. Just for clicks and views. Do better. We're black guys who date white girls. Of course her father calls me boy. <laughs> We're black guys. Okay, y'all, I don't know. I get the satire or I get I get the jokes, but it's just less funny when it's a black man and a white woman. It's less funny, like the satire. It's more funny when I, I it's more funny. Mm, 
I don't know. But I like the video though. I <laughs> I liked it. I for real do. We're black guys that date white girls. My breath, no matter what, stinks. <laughs> Oh shit, it's still recording. Listen. I just. It's, was it really that funny? But I'd say the Oedipal. Oh, because it's so true. They breath always hitting. Like, they be like, hot. Oh, hot now. Wait, there's nothing wrong with dating outside your race. Because y'all know y'all go see me with my white boy Connor this year, I promise you. Reality, unfortunately, is that there are so many black men who date outside their race because they hate their race that there is a conversation there's a joke to be made now because why when i say why do you like your snow buddy and you go oh because black women are too loud why didn't you what what is that what does your relationship have to do with me <laughs> you better we're black guys who date white girls of course i let her say the n-word but we're i'm gonna use your hand over that skin tone my boy I'm gonna use your hand over that skin tone, my boy. You're not you're not wearing it properly. I'm gonna use your hand over that skin tone, my boy. It's either that or jail. It's either that or jail. Right. Jail. Let me know what you guys think about that video in the comment section. There were so many duets and stitches of people not actually talking, but you know the reactions were just very, very funny. And I would like to hear what you guys think. Do you think it's funny? Do you get the jokes in the video? And I saw a comment that says, where is Dr. Umar? Come and save this man. Like, they are losing it. Come and save them. There are people who don't find that funny. There are people who actually you know getting along with the joke i feel like the point that people were stitching to was the point where he said of course my bread stinks i can say this is the very first time i'm hearing that part because you know the conversation surrounding black men and white men's relationship i think this is my very first time hearing about the bread stinking part another part that people are sticking to or commenting about is the part where it said um i need someone to obey me so i feel like people interpreted that part in two different ways it is either he's saying that oh black women don't obey men or he's trying to say you all thought these white women actually obey but they do not obey so it's one of those two things so there are people who are seen it as a joke and there are people who are actually taking him serious and there are people saying that you all are going to come back and delete this video because it's going to haunt you guys in the house so let me know what you guys think. Do you find the joke? Do you get the joke? Do you get the um, sarcasm? Do you get... Do you, do you find it funny? Do you find this video funny at all? Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you all so much for joining. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe before you go and turn your bell notification on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And I love you guys.